All right, so in the recording, I think we had, I presented the Ritz method, and I just sort of somewhat out of the air pulled up these interpolating functions that we used. Um, and you know, it turns out where those came from is they were a set of interpolating functions that satisfied the boundary conditions implicitly. Um, but you know, then I went on to talk about sort of what you need to have a good set of interpolating functions or that they have to satisfy the boundary conditions and they have to be complete and we almost always use polynomials. So let's work an example uh, you know, with the same problem. So we had this model equation And the weak form of that, it, it's the same problem. So I'll just, the weak form, or rather the quadratic form, is like this. And so now, this time, instead of just randomly choosing the interpolating functions, let's, let's choose an algebraic polynomial. And by the way, I mean, it's obvious, for right now, we're, we're going to work in one dimension. Everything will be in one dimension. And then I think by next class, we'll go to 2D. And, and uh, then the extension of 3D is actually really straightforward from there. So but just to demonstrate these concepts, we'll work in one dimension. So we're going to assume an algebraic polynomial that interpolates the displacement field u of h is equal to the sum from j equals 1 to n cj phi j. And for this one, we'll just take We'll just take uh, C1 plus C2x plus C3x squared. Okay, so our polynomial has to satisfy the boundary conditions. So let's let's evaluate this guy at u of zero. That has to equal zero, right? So if you just plug in zero in for x then you're just going to have C1 is equal to 0. It has to satisfy the other boundary condition, which is U at 1 is also equal to 0. So if you plug in U at U1 and the fact that C1 equals to 0, then all you have left is C2 plus C3 equals 0. And of course, that implies that C2 is equal to minus C3. All right. So then, what's left of our interpolating function is just minus C3x plus C3x squared. Or if we factor out C3 x squared minus x. Okay, so this is what we have for interpolating function uh, if we use a polynomial. And So this is the result from the last class, or what was in the video. And I know it's hard to see in the class, but you guys know that on the video it's in high def. So if you need to take a closer look at what I'm going to do here. So here, uh, in this case, I'm just going to 
basically copy everything I did before because the only thing we're going to do different is I'm going to use a different interpolating function. So in this time, I'm going to use the one we just just derived, and that's um, basically c3 x squared minus x, right? So that's the interpolating function. Uh, with that, we'll evaluate the integral, and then now we only have we only have one variable with respect to, min to minimize the function width, right? So we're going to take the partial of i with respect to c3, and then we'll solve it for c3. And then we can plot that solution. So this is the solution with that interpolating function, okay? Turns out it's not as good. Th this is actually closer to the real solution. So we can look at what the real solution is. Um, I, I say the real, you know, the analytic. Cause this is a simple enough problem. We can solve it analytically. So. I'm using V here, but uh, oh. if I put the boundary conditions in, V at zero equals zero, V one equals zero. All right, so that's the actual analytic solution. And then I should be able to plot that. Um, no. Off by a minus sign somewhere. But, uh, so you can see that this is the actual analytic solution of that differential equation. And in the last class, those kind of special interpolating functions we chose, I chose them such that they satisfy the boundary conditions, but they were also a better interpolant to the real solution, OK? And this time, we took a more systematic approach in that we said we're just going to use polynomials, but we, always, we, we truncate the polynomial, right? So if we take more terms of that polynomial, then this, this solution will approach that one, okay, the, the actual solution. And uh, 